Back to Brandon Shishilab Nuding. In this episode, we're gonna be revisiting these old classic examples of rings in rainbow colors. Okay, so this is uh, a procedural setup set up using geometry nodes. In the past, I talked about this uh, with sphere chalk example. With geometry nodes, there's a slight quirk where you need to kind of store the value of instance. At some point, you know, you need to capture the attributes of the color before you pass it on to the next uh, uh, in the in the node tree. Uh, but let's let's take a look anyway. So it's a it's a donut rings and it's stacked. And what I could do here is to change the number of the donuts on the fly. Okay, so let's keep this eight. And the donut is basically uh, a circle, but I can reduce the number of circle so it can be any end gone. I'll just make it 32 so it looks like a fully circular donut. And yeah, we can still control the radius and whatnot. Okay, the, the ring itself is basically originally is just like a line. So the line have the count set by this integer number and I instance like a circle on the mass line points. From this instance we know that there's, there's like an index for each one of the donuts. So the index goes up and the value will go from 0 to the maximum value which is 8 in this case. I can make it 10. Let's make it 10. And I'm using this map range between 0 and 1. And then I passed it into this uh, HSV combined color. So the value is affecting just the hue from 0 to 1. So we have this rainbow color that I later capture. I capture the value of this color and then store it, store it into this result output. The result of the color of the value goes into the shader, so we get this rainbow color. Okay. While the while the curve itself, let me if, if I mute this. Okay. The curve itself, which already been instanced on the on the line points, is uh, it's also be it's it's being scaled. So that's why we have this like a, like a smaller donut and bigger donuts. It's been scaled based on this this value of the stack, you know, like the maximum value is controlling the scale as well using this map range, similar to the color. So the color goes from red to purple while the scale goes from this value, minimum value to maximum value, which is based on the index and the number, the maximum number of the donuts. Okay, so, and then the, the next thing I do is using another, using curve to mesh, just simply turn it into a donut using another circle. So we have full control on that. And yeah, that's basically the setup. It's pretty simple, but actually you understand a couple of concepts on this, you know. Um, if you want to, so instead of rainbow, if you want to keep the value, you know, like grayscale value, you can actually pipe it, pipe like a grayscale value. So instead of rainbow color, Control uh, in which the hue is being controlled from value zero to one. We can just pass the value, and then over here in the shader, you can use color ramp, and now we can change the color over here. So we can, so really based on the instance, the instance is actually really special, right? 
so we can pass the attributes into the shader so if we have maybe the shader have different texture we can actually control that as well with that value um, if you randomize the value I believe this will also give effect Okay, yeah, in this case, if the value is random, and we can use HSV clockwise. Now we have the full rainbow color. The random value is coming from geometry nodes between 0 and 1. And so we can have like 100 of this ring being stacked like that, or we can, can zero this out. We can control the radius, right? We can do all sort of things. It's very simple. There's a lot of application for this. In fact, it's all about instance and random color that you can pass on into the shader. So if we have, so it doesn't have to be ring or donuts. It can be any instance. And the instance, as long you know, you specify the position, the scale, you just instance it randomly. Let's say you have like an object, like a, like a bottle, you want to, you want to pass on the random instance. You can do it this way. And then, yeah, you can bake it out into the texture for each object if you want to, or in this case, inside blender, it's a, yeah, you can have this. Kind of like super efficient way to instance many objects with different color yeah uh, i could make another video just making the same thing but like with a bottle shape but i think this donut shape is really nice and yeah hopefully you find this uh kind of useful and interesting you can always change the color over here also with the gradients you know you, you have a lot of control so the shader is still remain the shader you can make control the principles material but the color everything is all procedural so i think it's a, yeah it's a classic example it's very useful in the past i i was talking the same thing using sphere chalk let's see maybe tomorrow we can also play around with simulation nodes and color you know how we can influence different objects using dynamically using simulations using geometry nodes okay so hopefully this is useful thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye